Hey, and welcome back to How To Do Whatever. Today, I'm going in coloring this box. I've been making it the previous two videos, so if you didn't see them yet, check them out. I'll leave the link, I believe, up here. So until now, this box actually looks like this. So we've got all three sides covered. And then we've got like the place for the DVDs to stand in and of course the top. We also got that space here and as I said earlier I am planning to go in with the map and I already printed them but I'm going to color it but first I'm checking which size is fitting the best. And I'm also trying to make it movable. I'm not really sure if that's working out at all but I'm trying. For the gold coins I'm actually going in with some flaky gold, so I believe it's fake flakes, but they work just as fine as pure gold flakes. Anyways, um, I will not go in right away with the flakes on the cones. I'm preparing them first and I'm going over it with some brown, just to, you know, get the base right and then build on top. I'm also going to color the banner just with a slight brown. So I'm putting the brown into the water and then just slightly going over it. I'm now going to pick up some black and I'm going to go all over the top. Also color the inside black. The only two sides you want to leave out are the sides. So I just painted the skull by accident. We're going to paint the skull later anyway, so it's not the worst thing. So I might just go in with the dark spots now. So I'm just going to pick my brush, go all over his face, just like this. But the color is really watered down, so it's not a biggie can still see everything. It's more like water than actual paint. But as you can see the paint is getting stuck in places which are deep anyway so this is like really helping me out. And then I'm just grabbing the tissue and just slightly going over it. So here we go. I'm going in with the sides as well. So I'm using light blue and dark blue and I'm just going to fade this side. So it's going from dark like black towards the blue tones. Similar to a faded nail art design, you're just using a sponge and dabbing the colors together so they actually fade together. Use the same technique as before for the glass in the bottle and color the cracks with really watered down black. Pick an old toothbrush or a really dry paintbrush and sprinkle on some white. This way it will look like a sky full of stars. And here we go, just let everything dry. Meanwhile... Alright, here we go. I did actually get all the pieces on a piece of paper and I have some silicone tape on it just to get sure that the middle doesn't rip. So I will basically put them on top of each other just like this and then stick it together with a needle. As you can see, I did put the last paper on a normal needle and I will just put them all together so it's nicely aligned in the middle. And as you can see, I can turn it and twist it just the way I like. Even like individual parts, just easy as. And I will put it down just like this. 
literally only gluing down the very first layer. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry and while that's drying, I'm going to cover these coins with some gold flakes. Let's see if that works. I want the coins to look like real gold coins, so let's go in. Many, many minutes later. Alright, so it's several hours later and I finally got all the gold coins covered in gold. I'm so happy about that because it took ages. I really underestimated that time effort. I also painted that little thing here, like the gold coin he's got in. I tried to cover some of his teeth. What I did as well was putting in that map here and I can actually twist this as well. So I can even turn the little, little bits in the middle. All right, now I'm going in and I'm painting the background of the other side. I decided to paint it like greenish, like dark greenish, um, and just put like a layer of black all around so it actually looks like the inside is the brightest and all like in a dark green tone. While that's drying, I'm going over the cones with some watered down black just to give them a used look. For the swords, I'm going to use a hack. I'm going to use nail polish. I'm going in with that grey first and then I'm going to cover it with that shine nail polish just to give it a shine. And I'm just going to apply it as if I would paint my nails. And I'm also going to paint his bandana. As I do have some red left, I'm going with the red over the heart like the dark red right in here and I'm going brighter as I go so I'm just watering it down Alright, so I did let it dry overnight and today I'm going in with the tentacles The very first coat was like a almost rose I tried to protect it with a piece of paper. Alright, so that's the very first layer and I'm going to go in with the key as well. It's going to be grey and as I want to have it a little bit shiny, I'm going in with my nail polish. For the second coat I went in with a dark purple. I applied the color roughly and then went in with a wet cotton pad just dabbing it on so this way not everything but some of the pinkish look from underneath was shining through. So here we go and as we're on the side at the moment I'm going in with the compass so I'm just using some black and I'm covering all the bits which are black. Inside of the compass's lid there is actually a blue sky map. I used some color in the color bone and applied it where the white wooden stripes would be in the compass. And then I went in with a tiny red spot just where the red arrow would be. Alright, so here we go. That's just a few days later and this side is actually well, I would say finished. I'm now getting in with this side, so I'm going to do the tail. And yes, I actually missed that. I did put on already this thing here and it would be too much of a hassle to remove it now. So I will try to cover it so I don't paint it underneath. This will be a little bit difficult, but if you're watching that, just put this bit in in the end and not like in between. Just for the mermaid's fin I went in with a few different colors. So I went in with the purple look at first but then I went in with the contrast color bright green and just dabbed it on with a sponge so the purple is still shining through but the highlights would be greenish. I'm going in with some shimmer and I hope I don't regret that. That's a nice, I'd say, mermaid fin. Then I continued colouring in the black pearl. Quite straightforward, so just colour it back. 
Also gave a warranty edges of the bottle again, just darkening them down. I wanted to go in with a green flash, so I went in with white first and then went over it with the bright green. The white is actually helping the green to enhance. I went in with a darker blue on top of the bottle just to create the illusion that the bottle would be see-through. Then I created some reflecting highlights on the bottle and colored the bottle's cork. Day six. Of course these knives actually are a little bit too shiny and also these um, handles are a little bit dark. So I'm going in with some brown, just darkening down the handles first. To create a used look, just use really watered down black and go over the swords. Just wipe it away with a tissue and here we go, it actually looks like it's been used. So here we go. And now probably the hardest thing is actually coming up. So I'm going to try and make the writing on this banner here. This is a lot of letters within it. so really don't know if I can fit it in so I'm starting with my pencil and I'm trying at least trying to get them down as my brush is not this thin I'm not going to paint it with my brush because that would be insane I'm going to paint it with my fine liner it doesn't really look perfect but that will do so here we go it's all done finally um, I have to say I could go in a little bit more of the details like highlighting every single shell but i'm totally happy about it at the moment as it is and to be honest this was like one of the longest projects i ever done i'm normally so impatient if it comes to finishing a project especially with the drying time it was like partly really frustrating because I had to wait and I couldn't keep on going. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the box. Should I have been more patient like going in with more details? Probably yes. Um, <laughs> surely yes, I'd say it that way. I hope you liked the videos. Let me know in the comments below if I should do the Harry Potter themed one or any other things like that or if I should stop painting things um i will not stop so don't tell me <laughs> well other than that subscribe if you want to see more hit the bell button for notifications and see you next time bye